Hello and welcome. In the last video we created our bot with the ability to look at any bone using the AI perception component. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you take a look at it first. In this video, I will show you how to set up the detection by affiliation system so that we can have AI factions in our game. Let's say I wanted to have another bot in the scene. You would expect them to not attack each other since they are on the same team or faction but attack the player when he becomes visible because the player belongs to a different faction. But if I press play, you will see that they start attacking each other. So, why is this happening? Well, it is happening because the bots have no team awareness. They do not know which classes are supposed to be hostile and which are not. If you open up the AI controller class and take a look at the AI perception component, you will find a detection by affiliation section. By default all actors are seen as neutrals. But we don't want that. We want to detect enemies. To do that uncheck detect neutrals and check the detect enemies checkbox. But if we play now bots won't detect anything because we are no longer detecting neutrals and to the bots all actors are neutrals. To fix it, open up the character base class we created in the last video and include the generic team agent interface.h file and add the interface after the AI site target interface as shown here. Now, in the public section, add these. The get generic team ID function is going to return the unique team ID for this character which will be used to determine if this character is hostile or not. We don't need to do anything in the CPP file. Let's move over to the AI controller class. Here, in the protected section, add the F generic team ID variable and the get attitude towards function. Also, in the public section add a function that returns the team ID. So, every time an actor becomes visible, the get team attitude towards function is called. This function compares the team IDs and determines if this actor is an enemy, neutral or a friendly. Now, let's go to the CPP file and first in the begin play function, set the team ID to this controller's bot ID. In the get team attitude towards function, first I check if the actor is a pawn and if not I return neutral. Then I check if the actor implements the generic team agent interface. I had to check separately for bots and players because the player won't have an AI controller. If the actor does not implement the interface I return the team attitude as neutral. Next, I get the other actor's team ID and store it in the other actor team ID variable. Now I compare the other actor's team ID to the team ID of this controller. So, if the other actor team ID is equal to 8 then the other actor is neutral, if both team IDs are equal then the actor is friendly otherwise it is hostile. Let's build the solution and open up the editor. Now if I play, you will see that it is working as it should. The bots are not attacking each other and when the player becomes visible, they both go into combat. But wait, there is more. Because of how we have set it up, to make a bot that is hostile to the aliens, is just a matter of changing the ID, which is super easy because the ID is just an integer. However, I have not found a way to change it at runtime. If you know how to do that, please let me know. I would love to learn from you. Let's now set up a friendly class. This class is a child of character base just like the enemy. Now make the player a child of the friendly class. This will help us generalize the AI logic if we decide to develop it further. I am in the friendly class. Here, we need to set the team ID. Set it to 255. Because the player's team ID is also set to 255. Now I also have the friendly in the scene. Let's play and test. We are only detecting enemies. So, the friendly does not detect the player but the enemies do.
Also, the enemies and friendlies can detect each other. Now let's say, we also want to detect friendlies and neutrals. If I play now, well, you see the problem. If we open up the AI controller, and take a look at the on perception function, we can see that, it does not take into consideration the faction of the detected actor. Okay, so let's make it a bit smarter. Here is the new code. We are still doing what we did earlier, we have just added a few checks. First we store all hostile actors detected so far in an array of actors. Then we check if this array has any elements. If it does not, we return. Then, we try to find the detected actor in the array of hostile actors. The find function searches the array for the actor we give it, and returns the index at which this actor was found. If it doesn't find this actor it returns minus 1. So, if i, is less than 0, it means that the detected actor could not be found in the array of hostile actors. So, we return. Okay, let's play. As you can see, it is working. The bots can detect enemies friendlies and neutrals but they only go into combat when they see a hostile actor. As promised, we now have AI factions in our game. If you find this video useful, consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this.